Okay, so let me show you how to import models properly into um, GDevelop. We're going to um, create something in um, uh, iCloud and then we're going to optimize that in um, uh, Blender. Okay, I forgot the name of Blender for a second there, which is bad. I don't usually I don't usually use Blender, but today we are going to use Blender. Blender is free, by the way. And um, if you don't have iClone Seven, you can always download it and you know download the free version and mess around with that and see if you like it. This we need a um, character. Let me grab this um, character here. Okay, so before any before we do anything, let me uh, set that in the center by clicking this button here. Reset zero. Okay. And I'm going to go to animation. Uh, motion puppet. And let me select uh, female actions like moving. Uh, preview this. Okay, she is running now. So I'm gonna record roughly about uh, 60 seconds. So press the. Uh, let me just exaggerate the uh, the running first. <laughs> exaggerate the running a bit faster. Okay, I think that seems fine there. Let's uh, record roughly about um, 60 seconds. What I meant to say is uh, 60 frames, not 60 seconds. So that's already recorded there. And now we just need to loop that. Let me just um, set the, um, the view sideways. Here, so we need to end on the same frame there. Let me bring this over to that frame over there. It's like frame 47 or something. Let me just um, loop that, see if that works. I think it should be frame 46. <laughs> frame 45 okay we're gonna leave it at 45 you can mess around with this if you want to so let me export this to um as an fpx and it's gonna be a blender uh, model so let me um uh, check all these uh, check boxes here like make sure that, that your textures are like super small because you don't want them for production quality kind of thing it's mostly for gaming okay so we're gonna call this model girl girl or something girl or something one let that export all right so now let's go to uh, blender i'm gonna open le blender okay wow that opened so fast i don't use blender guys so i'm uh, not really a blender guy but um yeah let me import that fpx under the desktop And there is my model here. Now, if you play this, you'll notice that the animation plays. Okay. Now I'm going to export this as a um, uh, GLB. Okay. I know we went to a, a site last time, but I realized that you can do that in Blender. And um, I'm going to go to the player here and I'm going to replace our uh, our model here. It's going to be the uh, running girl. 
Now it doesn't have all the animations that that one has, but we're going to um, change that later. For now, I just want to show you how to import this um, properly. Because in the last video, it kind of worked, but um, it didn't. <laughs> it was kind of slow. All right, so let me just change this to the uh, the default animation. Okay, and we're gonna run this. I mean, it works, okay, um, but to blend, I'm going to go back to Blender, and um, I'm going to reduce the amount of polygons, okay, because you don't necessarily need to have, like, super high meshes inside of um, GDevelop. Let me select her here, and uh, I believe it's here somewhere. I think you have to click on this... Um, Wrench thing, and you have to add like a, a modifier. Mm, I think something called decimate here, and you can. Um, I'm gonna show you the um, at the bottom here. This is the amount of uh, faces, it's about uh, 21,000 faces, and we can reduce that to whatever looks good. Okay, <laughs> let me select another part here. I'm going to do the same thing. Add a modifier and we're going to decimate this. Okay, and again you can see that um, there is 2,346 um, uh, faces there, and we can reduce the amount of faces, but without like completely destroying the model. Okay, uh, we can do the same thing for the shirt because these are uh, separate separate parts. And again, you can see that uh, there is 2,966 um, faces there, and we can reduce that to roughly right there. Okay. Same as the hair, same drill, decimate. And you can do this for um, almost every model. Let me reduce that to super low there. It doesn't need to be super detailed. Uh, one more thing, I believe her boots are um, also a different model. And we do pretty much the same thing, just uh, reduce the amount of um, faces to the... Low enough so we don't completely destroy the model, okay? I think that's fine there for a mobile game. Because you gotta remember a lot of cell phones are kind of slow. This computer is kind of slow too, so... and. You know, okay. So let me export this as an uh, BLG. Okay, this is gonna be running girl two. Uh, one thing we can do before we do that uh, is um, change the animation name. We go here to um, I think you have to go to the dope sheet and. I believe you can uh, go to the action editor and um, na -na -na -na. okay here is an animation okay let me just call this um, running or oh, just call it run run one okay now if you wanted to add more animations you click on this button here but we only have one animation so we can create more animations in um, icon 7 and just add them here but for now we're just going maybe I can do that maybe we could do that in the next video okay I'm just kind of giving you a heads up okay so let me export this and this is going to be called running girl 2 export and now this is optimized for like mobile devices Okay, let me uh, import a new model there with the new optimization. Okay, scan for missing images, and this time our animation should be called. Um, let's see, running animation, and now it's called run one. Apply that. And we're gonna go to 
run this game, see what happens. There you go, almost no difference, okay. Um, obviously we can create animations for uh, moving left. I was thinking maybe have her like, uh, we could do an animation in Icon 7 where she uh, rolls and jumps or something. Maybe like a dying animation as well. Okay, we'll do that in the next video, guys. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye now. Oh, I died. Oh, no.